Luke chapter 11, verse 2. Luke chapter 11, verse 1. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray. So like it one second. As John also told his disciples. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in, in heaven, so on earth. Give us day by day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And there's no God beside them. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit. And Shalom to the elect whom the Lord have given ears to hear. All right. And um, I want to land back off of the elder brother's lesson. Pretty much warning us of um the MOTB, how it's vastly approaching. The MOTB is a temptation that's going to be forced on the world. Revelation 13 and 16 tells us that. And Revelation 2 and 10, when you go into that word tried, where it says you should be cast in prison, you should be tried 10 days, that word tried at its very, uh, at its very origin goes into the word pierce. Right? So we're going to be tried, we're going to be tempted. With our livelihoods. Like the scriptures say, some shall be even beheaded. Alright? Some shall even be beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. Alright? For understanding and knowing Yahweh Shai, knowing the truth, you know not to turn your back and take that RFID chip, because that's what it is. It's you turning your back on the Lord. But it says, um, jumping straight to the point. Right, it says uh, implant chips seem normal as it is a matter of years, not decades. These won't be implants permitting paraplegics to regain their independence. These will be implants marketed to everyone as smartphones are now. And if you decline to have a chip grafted onto your brain, you'll be a backward, out of touch, missing through. So essentially... When these chips are pushed, right, which are going to go from just, because remember the scriptures say that these chips are going to be pushed in your forehead and in your, in your hand, in your body, anywhere in your body. Now, at this point in time, it's just for, you know, for the miracles of helping those that are not able to walk or they're able to see. But eventually it's going to be pushed on those, on all. It says rich and poor. Free and bond. So it's not just those with physical ailments. But it's all. Men, women, children on earth. And you'll be pretty much. Ostracized. You'll be looked at. In a bad light. As they just read. As they just said. You'll be looked at as a. Backwards. Out of touch. Missing through. Right. And it's not far fetched. Because look at. The 2020 situation. You were looked at as the enemy of the family. If you chose not to. You know get V'd up. 
here it is. You know, people always get sick. <laughs> you eventually get over it. But because this devil tell you, go, you know, this is bad, this is bad, you believe it. And however he pushes that on the people, you know, it's going to be with a sense of urgency. Even the scriptures say, he cometh down having great wrath because he, he knoweth that he ha he knoweth that he had but a short time. Right? And if you look at everything in the world, over here near us, we have New York. And, you know, going to New York from time to time, I'll see they have uh, on the buses. Well, even over here in Jersey, they have on the buses now where you scan your phone. You know, so before you would just show the bus pass or you would give them a bus ticket. But even before that, you would just put money in. But now everything is pretty much on the app. You open up an app for the bus and you show them your app. Right? Soon enough, you're going to have to scan. And then eventually, of course, as the scriptures say, you're going to need to have a device in your hand. Right? Now, of course, they're going to push it forth as, you know, more secure. I was even in um, Costco today. And I didn't even realize, because I know before, when you go in Costco, you just show them your Costco's card, and you're good to go. But uh, now, they actually have you scanning your Costco card as a point of facial recognition, because the lady was, which, what she told to me is that, you know, it prevents other people sharing cards, you know, so they know it's actually you that has the ownership to this card. All right, and that's what they push it off as. But we know according to the scriptures, Habakkuk 2, that he is as deaf and is never satisfied. So he's going to take it even further than that. You even had um, the guy, Aaron Russo, plainly said that um, the Rockefellers, which he had a close relationship with one of them. I believe it was, I, I can't remember. Nick, yeah, it was Nick Rockefeller. You can find that in the interview of him and um, Aaron Russo and Alex Jones. He clearly told him that these devils want to put a chip on the whole world. All right. So these things will come to pass. And when you go into that word, it says a backwards. What does it say? A backwards. Out of touch, missing through. So let's look up these words. What? As is a backward individual is someone who is perceived to be developing more slowly or making less intellectual progress than others. So in other words, you look at as retarded. It can also refer to a person or group that is not making progress toward a perceived culture norm of advancements. Right? So you're not you're not you're not moving right with the program. You can you consider backwards. Out of touch. An out-of-touch person is someone who is not up to date with or knowledgeable about a subject, activity, or situation. They may also not be aware of recent changes in a situation. Because remember, according to the Bible, he calls it all. We bring it out all the time, right? But what's one more time, right? And it says, he calls it all, Revelation 13 and 16. That word cause is to make, construct, form, fashion. Right? So pretty much he's going to create a situation to where you must take it. And if not, you are considered someone who's not up to date with or knowledgeable about a subject, activity, or situation. All right? You slow. Because we just read the word backwards and then out of touch. So that's pretty much like two negatives. 
And then you look up a misanthrope. It says is a person who generally dislike or distrust other people or has negative attitude towards humanity. And again, when you go back to um, the 2020 situation, there it was pretty much bad talk about the anti-vaxxers. And that's what it's going to be for you, for us. You know, Lord willing, I'll be of the elect. All right, but how was Shai prepared us to pray Right to not to be led into temptation, which we're going to that word led. It means to be carried into, and for the elect. In John seventeen, he said, "I pray that you take them not out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil." Which this is an evil thing. Right. As a matter of fact, in regards to the twenty twenty situation, I was just looking at this. Uh, what is the article I just looking at? Right, looking. It's a pretty decent article. So it says, um, a dignified life or dehuman, dehumanized technocracy. Which will you prefer for your children? So it says, as you as you may have noticed, I do enjoy lists. I suppose. They appeal to my sense of order. The following is a list of fundamental printables, printables, principles Salakia, that were strangely as if by hypnosis abdicated during the CV scam D. Right. Look at that word abdicated. All right, it says, uh, abdicated means to turn down, quit, resign, relinquish, fail to fulfill, or undertake a responsibility or duty. Okay. So, I mean, I'm not going to read it out loud. You can see it for yourself. These were the things that we learned from this uh, Scam D. Right? But it says, um... The point, the point I was looking at... Right, this is body sovereignty. Sovereignty over one's own body is the most fundamental or of fundamental rights. It is the right from which all other rights emanate. If your body sovereignty is compromised, you are a compromised individual and you are not a free person. You may aspire to freedom, but you are not free. And that says a lot, actually, because, you know... I mean, hell, to this day, people are still dropping unalive. You're talking about very helpful, healthy people. You know, they even had a, a, a syndrome called uh, sudden unalive sy uh, symptom. Right. And then on a spiritual aspect, you won't feel the Lord anymore. Right. You take that MOTB. Right. Because remember, it's it's. That is um, that MOTB, right? It's created out of, which is a physical thing. Don't get me wrong, but it's um, the meaning behind it. All right, 
was for you to make this devil your God, not the Lord. Right? And we, we know the scriptures say about Esau that the Most High is not in all his thoughts. So when that thing goes in you, right, you're going to lose the Lord. You're going to be a part of that scripture where it says, um, so I never knew you. Right, Matthew 7 and 23. And then while I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. That's why it says in Revelation 14, it says, um, and the third angel, 14 and 9, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Right? So you're going to be tormented by the Lord. Right? And this is Yahweh This is not Jesus. Right? Because Jesus don't torment nobody. <coughs> but that's a grave offense. And you've been warned, you know. Beware. And just know your how about Shimei Awasha is going to hold you down if you trust in him. This is um Psalms chapter 37, verse 17. For the strength of the wicked shall be scattered or shattered. Right? And these people is in for a rude awakening. They think we're the missing throats. They think we're the ones that's out of touch. Right? Which is pretty much is what they're going to say against us. Against the elect, rather. Lord willing, we beat them in. Right? It says, But the Lord takes care of the godly. Day by day, the Lord takes care of the innocent. And they will receive an inheritance that lasts forever. They will not be disgraced in hard times. Even in famine, they will have more than enough. You see? So yeah, how about Shimei Osha is going to hold brothers down? There was another, let me see. Let me see if I can find this other preset. Yeah, look at this. Let's see. Look at this, man. Lord willing, this, this, you know, this cheer you brothers up. Hell, Lord willing, this, I can remember this in these last days as well. Psalms 37 and 5. Commit everything you do to the Lord and trust him and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiant, radiate like the dawn. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn. And the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday, like the noonday sun, right? And in the case of not taking our RFID chip, we're expected to starve, right? But the Lord is going to feed us. We're expected to be homeless and down and out, but the Lord is going to hold us down. The scriptures say, as far as following the Lord, Read Second Ezra, the second chapter. He says that that uh, and at the last days. Let me grab it. It says, as for the servants, um, let me start at 27, it's lock here. Be not weary, for when a day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. Right? And when you read into it, pretty much, it speaks on the job of a man of the Lord. Right? It's a labor of love. Nevertheless, it's a labor. And it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of work. 
But at the end of the day, the Lord said, be not weary for when a day of trouble and heaviness cometh. Right? Because you have to care for your own soul. You have to go out there and constantly uh, speak to a hard-headed people. Right? For when a day of trouble and heaviness cometh. All right? That temptation. Others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee. But they shall be able to do nothing against thee, save the Lord. My hand shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. All right, in that hell, in that as, in that aspect, it's talking about death. All right, death, which probably too would be a bad time in the eyes of these people. All right, a hard life. Now, yeah, the scriptures do say we will be tried ten days. But the Lord also said, what? He's going to give us a crown of life. Right? Which some, it could be a week. It could be two days. You know? But the Lord going to come through, man. We don't know how the Lord working now. But we, we know he's working. Look, there's even shows, right? Before I end it out. There's even shows that goes into doomsday prepping. Right? So there's going to be food out there for us, man. There's going to be people that not necessarily... There's going to be people that the Lord has to secure us, right? People that's going to be off the grid and, you know what I'm saying, got they, you know, house stored up or whatever in the woods that might believe in a Bible. They, hey, they there to secure us. And the Lord don't lie. The Lord is not a man that he should lie. The scriptures say, whoever trusted in the Lord and was confounded. So if that shall to the elect. 